Huge shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you're interested in gaining a channel membership, then feel free to head over to my channel profile and click the join button. Also, we do have a Ninjago Discord server. It's a great way to communicate with myself and many others. For more details on that, click the very first link at the very top of the description of this video. Hello there everyone and welcome on into the channel for a new video. So in this one, I just wanted to respond, I guess, to a new popular thing that people within the community and also the fandom seem to be saying, and this all correlates to the new ninja suits. As I'm sure a lot of you may know already, let's just say that so far, the ninja suits simply aren't that good looking. But there's actually been a little bit of, um, well, I wouldn't say drama as it's nothing that serious, and I feel as though that's too strong of a word to say here, but there's been some pushback, you could say, to people saying that so far, these new suits look bad. So let's just get straight into things. Now recently, more and more images of just a singular Lloyd minifigure and its components for Ninjago United have all been coming out. At first, there wasn't that much drama or pushback regarding it, and people mostly just wanted to wait until we see the full thing in detail to come to any form of judgement. And then, we saw the shoulder pad piece, and then we got another few pictures, and uh, yeah, we saw another shoulder pad piece on the actual upcoming Lloyd minifigure itself, and that's what really set things off, I'd say. It has really become quite a big thing over the past one, two days, as of the time of me recording this video at least, and I think it's safe to say that for the most part here, a pretty big majority of people simply do not like this minifigure. Me included, to be honest, but opinions aside, my personal opinions at least, that's besides the point here, and is pretty irrelevant to the topic at hand. But with this all being said, there are fans out there who have definitely expressed their own opinions on all of this, even saying that people will change their minds on this later, and that people, are, quote, do not like these suits for the sole reason that they are unique. That is exactly what people have been saying there. Now, this is precisely what I want to unpack here, as I do not believe in any of this at all, and I feel as though this statement is very inaccurate. First of all, I do kind of understand the first point, right? As the Ninjago community definitely has this trend and this thing where each and every time people will hate on a newly revealed ninja suit figures, but then over the coming months from that point onwards, their opinion switches and they change up on their originally negative opinions very, very quickly. I do kind of understand that as, again, it has happened before. But, what I find to be flat out completely wrong, and even stupid in some cases, is that people dislike these suits just because they are unique. And because LEGO is trying to do something different. That's just obviously not the case. For example, the Season 13 suits, the scuba suits, even the golden armoured crystallised suits, they're all mostly loved within the community. I mean, obviously it's not perfect, and they have their fair share of... Uh, haters, you could say, and people definitely do dislike them out there, but I mean, they were quite well received, and uh, yeah, they're, they are very unique, of course. Just because they are unique, it doesn't mean that people hate them because of that. It's not because of the fact that they're unique, but people are very much entitled to think that these suits in particular are bad because... Well, surprise, surprise, some of the design choices look ugly to a lot of people. And I mean, obviously, no offence to anybody that does like these suits. Personally, I do not like them, but I'm glad that you find joy in this Lloyd minifigure. It's really as simple as that. I'm not sure why some are choosing to go along with this uh, idea and narrative, I guess, that the community hates change in a, this particular instance. Overall, definitely a fair opinion to have, and I do agree with it in a lot of cases. But, but this time around, with this particular suit and this particular situation, I just don't think it makes any sense, really, at all. All. That's not the reason why people just do not like it, but people just think that the design choice here isn't the best. It has nothing to do with whether or not it's unique and is straying away from the norm with Ninjago ninja suits, and I feel as though that's more than okay. People are definitely welcome to feel that way if they so wish, but again, I do not feel as though it's right to label this as Ninjago fans hating unique designed ninja suits, because I just don't agree with that at all. And I feel as though it's not because they're unique, that, that's not the reason why people are hating them, it's just because it just happens to look ugly, and it's really all it comes down to, and uh, yeah, that's really all I wanted to get across in this video. Sorry if it came across as a bit of a mini rant, but I just wanted to get this off my chest, because I've been seeing more and more kind of statements similar to this recently, and I feel as though I wanted to share my own thoughts covering this. But with all of this being said, again, basically going to cover it for this one here. But before you guys do all head out, please do feel free to leave any of your own thoughts on all of this down below in the comments. I would love to hear your own thoughts regarding this. If you did enjoy today's video, though, please do feel free to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more. And hit that notification bell so that you can be the first to watch my new content whenever I do first post it. And with all of this being said, I will see you all very, very soon for my next one. Goodbye, everybody.